Welcome to Power Your Life Today. I'm Christy Joe, mind and body strategist. Today I'd like to share with you some ideas and thoughts about how to create more simplicity in your life in order to release the genius within you. Now your first thought in hearing that might be, what genius in me? And what is this about? I'm not trying to create a business. I'm not trying to do this huge movement in the world. But I'm gonna tell you right now, you have genius within you. That's your unique identity. That's you being you and living in the world at your maximum potential. So a few thoughts and ideas I'd like to share with you. This is all about awareness today because it can be sensitive topics and I hope to not uh, isolate any particular demographic and saying, you know, this is bad. Not at all, that's not my intention. I'd like to talk about the consumerism that happens, particularly in shopping, in designer wear, brand names, the need to be establishing uh, who we are and, and adding to our identity through the things that we purchase. I know that this impacts a lot of people and they can feel like they aren't anything unless they are wearing a particular brand or they have these really nice things in their lives and they, they set themselves up for this need to have material possessions in order to validate their worth. So today I just want you to think about yourself and think, how am I doing with this? We're gonna think about clothing we wear. We're going to think about um, cars. Let's think about homes and anything in between. I, I see this happening even with makeup lines that some people are so attached to. I have to have the top names because then that's saying I'm good enough. Do you see that message in marketing everywhere? Do you see that in advertising? that if you don't buy this particular product or service or item that you're not enough that if you really love yourself you buy up here well hello you guys that's marketing that's what companies do in order to get your money so let's be careful that we don't attach our identity onto those things we are purchasing something i've noticed and learned from some of my mentors is let's look at some of some really great leaders in the world. Um, let's look at people who are really successful in business, especially people like Mark Zuckerberg, Tony Robbins, Robin Sharma, Warren Buffett. Uh, as a member of the LDS faith, I look at uh, like Thomas S. Monson, Gordon B. Hinckley, previous prophets. Let's look at their lifestyle. Are they extravagant? And I'm thinking mostly about clothing right now because Mark Zuckerberg actually said something relevant to this topic where he, he wears very plain t-shirts and jeans. And, and he talked about how the simplicity allows him to focus on the more important things in life. I love that because when we are less focused on ourselves and our image we're trying to project into the world, we're focused on simplifying, we then have more availability of our brain to focus externally. See, the thing is your brain only has 10% of conscious processing power. So if you are using any part of that 10% making trivial decisions each day, do you stand in front of your closet just trying to find the perfect thing to wear when it's like if you could simplify, maybe downsize your jewelry, your shoes, your clothing, and, and go for simple make those decisions easy so you can spend more time in the things that really matter. So the questions we wanna ask ourselves are, how are we doing with our attachment to material possessions? Could we at any given point walk away from all of them? Could we go and just live in a t-shirt and jeans in the, in the wilderness? I think this is why people really love those, um, those reality TV series, because it's showing us that as human beings, we can exist, we can really actually thrive having very little. Some of the happiest people in this world, if you've studied history at all, are those people who had very little material possessions. So consider this, consider how can you simplify your world as it is. We each are living in a different world. Our reality is created through the lens that we view our lives, all of our experiences and thoughts. And so it's not to judge any particular group or culture or anything. It's just to say, let's be aware. Where's our focus? Where's our intention? Can we simplify, detach our identity from material possessions? You can't take it with you when you die. <laughs> And let's just seek to do a little bit better.
These are the small things that make all the difference so that you can power your life today. Thanks for watching. If this resonated with you, please share it with one person who comes to mind. Investing in yourself is the best investment you're ever going to make because when you improve your life, everybody around you improves their lives too. Subscribe to this channel so you are really sure to catch our next power session together so you can continue to power your life to one of more service, value, and love. Until then, power your life today.